ಕೀರಣಂತವೀರ್ಯಾ ವಿಶ್ವಸ್ವೀಜಂಗ್ ಪರಮಾಸಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಮೋಹಿತ ದೇವಿ ಸಮಸ್ತೇತತ್ವಂಗೈ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಭುವಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಹೇತು ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ವೆಲ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಮೇವಿಯಲ್ ಮಾಯಾ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ by you all this universe has been thrown into an illusion o devi if you become gracious you become the cause of final emancipation liberation in this world <clears throat> our subject is the first topic is the first Durga Puja in Belur Mott. Wonderful topic. Shami Vivekananda started this in 1901, in the month of October. So why Shami Vivekananda started Durga Puja? Durga Puja is not a puja that Sadhu Sannasi should do. It is this Vaitik Upasana. Sadhus are relieved of that. Sadhus can do a little Tantric Puja. but not the vedic puja so there are certain reasons behind it but before going that i would like to speak about something 5 minutes about what is this durga why shami ji is interested in that and what actually durga is durga means durga is she who killed the demon asura durgam asura so she is durga durga durgati nashini durga is one who removes our destroys all our suffering misery durgati suffering misery we suffer from each and every one who can say i am not suffering so this mother durga as the hindu uh, belief goes that she is the dt who removes and destroys all our suffering and whatever we have done that cause that may cause suffering to us she will destroy that durgati nashini and another meaning is also there durga is durgam from the word durgam durgam means this fortress this body is like a fort navadyare navadware pure dehi or this body has nine opening nine doors so that the stress pressure can come attackers can come enemies can enter and destroy our spiritual potential entity so durga is like who is protecting this durga and uh, this is what durga actually durga is not a form it is a tattva shakti tattva durga is that power you are that shakti primordial primeval shakti the adi shakti so many stotras are there ya devi sarvabhuteshu shakti rupena sanstita shakti rupena you are that power that abides in the whole world in everything as the energy as the power behind everything so Uh, this divine mother is the another aspect of that brahman brahman has two aspect brahman inactive nothing doing abhakta that is we call brahman and when that brahman's power is manifest playing we are seeing that this world we cannot say it is not there it is being created it is being preserved it is finally being destroyed satya raja tamas these three gunas are there when brahman with this manifests its power through this three shaktis gunas shakti is manifested through with this three powers uh, gunas the satya raja and tamo then all this world is universe whole universe is coming up and it is always something is happening so this is the work of the 
Shakti. And Shakti is another aspect of that Brahman. Brahman and Shakti Abhed. Sri Ramakrishna again and again said that Brahman and Shakti are Abhed. You cannot say it is separated. Our mother's mantra is there. Yathagner, Dahika Shakti, Ramu Krishna, Sitahiya, Sarva Vidya, Sarupang Tang, Sardang, Pranamam Maham. I offer my salutation to that Sarada Devi who is like the burning power of the fire. Fire without burning power, you cannot think of, we cannot think of. Jathagnir Dahika Shakti, as we find the fire and its burning power, so also you are identical, you are always one with Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna Shakti. So I offer my pronouns to you, Mother. So, this is a wonderful tattva is there, but it was misunderstood and was not the, as the way, the way Swami Vivekananda and our master uh, presented in this modern age, how Shakti should be. And Swamiji, in several letters from America, was writing to his brother disciples, particularly one letter is very uh, important and very famous later. It was, date is not mentioned, it was around uh, uh, October, November in 1894. Swami is writing to Swami Shivanandaji, Taruk Dada, you have not understood what the mother, Holy Mother is. She is that Shakti embodied in this modern age. Why Mother has uh, embodied again, incarnated again? So Swamiji was giving a wonderful explanation that why India and some other countries are so uh, backward. Without Shakti, power, there is no regeneration for the world. Why is it that our country is the weakest and the most backward of all countries? Because Shakti is held in dishonor here. So, Indian people, after being ruled by nearly thousand years by the invaders, outsiders, they have forgot their real spiritual potential, what their power is, what actually uh, Hindus should do, a, a human being should do, what is the Vedic traditions. So they were, they were becoming very dogmatic and fanatic and uh, mean-minded, orthodox, orthodox not with any higher values. Uh, what I know, that is knowledge. What I do not know, that is not knowledge. So all these things were there. So this is Durga, wonderful, this Shakti Tattva. And it is a principle, this, as I told, this Durga is not a form only. We, then we do our puja in the form because we do not understand anything abstract. So we worship it. We need a form. We need something concrete, palpable, what we can touch, what we can see, what we can feel. So uh, this Durga is that power of that Brahman, uh, this Nirgun, Nirakar, Brahman can become Swagun, Sakar through this Durga, through this power uh, and got incarnated in different ages and Durga is one, as I told, who protects us from all the miseries and distress. It protects us from our demons also. Donujo Daloni, or Shiva Nashini. Or Shiva means, Shiva means auspicious, good, non-auspicious inauspicious, that which is not good. In this world we find there is a mixture of good and bad. Who will protect us from the bad? Evil power, we, I, we, we know, evil forces are there. Uh, it, is, it was not that evil forces, devils and demons were there in the ancient times only. It is here also, these human bombs, terrorists, these political leaders, they make the genocide. Hundreds and thousands of people, they, they, don't, they don't bother, they don't feel anything. They just simply order and kills. Nuclear bombs being um, uh, thrown. This is, and what happens we know. So in, that, in this modern age also demons are there, it is there. So this Durga, Mother Durga, that Shakti, make us victorious to uh, 
uh, over victorious over these evil forces. So this Durga Puja is also the Dashami day we Vijaya we call. Why it is Vijaya? Because the good power, auspicious power, power of good has got the victory over the power of evil. Evil is destroyed. Ravana, Durjadhana, they are considered to be, they are representing the evil forces. And Ramchandra is representing the righteousness, the dharma. And all that is good will be finally victorious uh, over the uh, evil forces with the help of this worship of power. You need power to be victorious <clears throat> against some powerful demons and devils and evils. So Durga has its implication. It is a Durga Shakti Tattva. And Shami Vivekananda, why being even a sadhu started this Durga Puja. There are several um, uh, years are there. Um, wonderful explanations are there. First is, Swamiji, just before having the Durga Puja, had uh, some uh, divine vision that uh, Belur Mot in Belur Mot, Belur Mot was set up in uh, uh, 1898, and uh, Swamiji did first Durga Puja in 1901. It was always in Swamiji's uh, mind that Shakti should be uh, invoked and worshipped. Uh, it should be kept held in high esteem. That is what in 1894 he was writing later that why the condition of our <clears throat> country is that bad. Without the grace of Shakti, nothing is to be accomplished. So, this Swamiji believed that Holy Mother was incarnated. Holy Mother, Mother is born to revive that wonderful Shakti in India, which is lacking now. So, Swami Vivekananda had clear understanding of the positive impact of this divine Shakti on the whole world, centering uh, India that time and as ma making Holy Mother uh, Sharada Devi as the nucleus. So, he understood the power of the Shakti and wanted to be uh, the, an, an uh, instrument to make, to start the Puja, Shakti Puja in the proper manner, understanding the, its glory, it, uh, its uh, real uh, status in, in the society, in the family, in our lives. So, this Durga Puja was introduced and there are certain reasons why Shamiji started Durga Puja. Uh, this one of the uh, important reasons, as I told, Shamiji had wonderful vision that it is supernatural. What happened? Shamiji had a vision that Durga Puja was being done in Belurmot. And at the same time, almost, it co coincided uh, with the vision of Raja Maharaj also. One day Swamiji was coming from Calcutta by a boat. Swamiji came down and said, Hey, Raja, I had a uh, vision uh, that uh, Durga Puja is going on in Belurmot. So start Durga Puja. Rakhal Maharaj also said, Oh, my dear, I did not tell you. I had also the same vision that Mother Durga is coming, crossing the Ganges, coming from uh, the Dakshineshwar. Mm, those who have uh, seen Belurmot, Belurmot is uh, the western bank of the Ganges, and on the eastern bank there is just uh, two, three kilometers, uh, there is Dakshineshwar. You can see from Belurmot, you can see Dakshineshwar, from Dakshineshwar also you can see Belurmot. So Raja Mahas had a wonderful this vision that Mother Durga was coming from the Dakshineshwar and uh, uh, being worshipped here in Belurmot. So this was uh, Raja Maharaj's uh, um, uh, feeling. So Swamiji then found that it is a wonderful spiritual, supernatural coincidences. But Swamiji also saw that same thing. Durga Puja is being held in Belurmot and Rakhal Maharaj, Raja Maharaj, the spiritual son and the president of the Ramakrishna Water Mission selected by Swamiji. The Rakhal Maharaj also 
uh, had the same vision that Mother Durga is coming from Dakshineshwar. So then they understood, they all right, there is no question now to think twice. But before any wonderful thing, it is the first time we are going to introduce, although they used to do Durga Puja, and during Durga Puja time, Bengal is the place where Durga is almost every what city. In Calcutta city itself, there will be nearly 5,000 pujas. And in the villages, uh, every village, everywhere, there are Durga Pujas and big, big pandals, and uh, it is a festivity. Uh, so many days people will enjoy having the presence of Mother Durga as if there is the tradition in Bengal, Kerala, some parts of Tamil Nadu, and also in Kashmir that this Mother Durga is the daughter of this uh, Uma Haimavati. Uh, this Hemavat, this uh, Himalayas uh, daughter. So he is coming home and these days wonderfully, joyfully, everyone as mothers become very happy when their married daughters come back home uh, from their son-in-law's house. So mothers and um, fathers, they all, parents become, and other brothers, sisters all become happy. So it is like that. In Bengal, it is that Durga's coming is, uh, this daughter is coming back home for some days to enjoy the company of the father, mother, and others. So it has become a household affair in Bengal. So Samiji, this first thing coincided then sent to Holy Mother's permission that we are going to undertake this puja, you go. But other two uh, causes are also, reasons are also there. Why Shami Vivekananda being a Sarvatya Gishanashi who doesn't, who is not bound to do any, uh, actually not authorized to do any puja, a Vedic puja. So why he is going to introduce all these things uh, in, in, in the mart? And Durga puja is not a matter of joke, he says, oh God, such a huge, it is like that Ashramada Jagga, like that. Uh, whatever you get by doing those in modern age, you cannot do all these Ashramada sacrifices. At least you can do Durga Puja and you will have the same uh, follow this Punna merit and uh, good merit uh, by doing Durga Puja. So in modern days, Durga Puja is being done in a very uh, huge scale big scale. Another one is, Samiji when came back in 1897, Samiji found that Orthodox Brahmins who were the caretaker of the self-styled um, uh, uh, caretakers of the Hindu society, they were not happy with Samiji's going to the West. This Kalapani going abroad, crossing the uh, black water means ocean. Ocean. This ocean water doesn't have any uh, e color. It is so transparent. You take it in the hands, but it is color. Color means black water. Pani means water. Oh, you have crossed the black water. From a distance, ocean is seen. It is. It, it, it appears a little blue, a little, little black complexion like that. Color. So they were not happy. This Swamiji, um, um, he is not doing, living a Hindu life. Huh? He has gone to the West, mixed with the Mlechas, Western people. Uh, Western people think, uh, they think that we are the <clears throat> educated, cultured, advanced people from all, knowledgeable people from all points of view, because we conquered so many things like that. But Indian Orthodox, so-called Orthodox Brahmin people, those whose mind is always in the old, ancient uh, Puranos and stories, all these things, Hinduism, they would consider this Western people, white-skinned people, and people uh, living beyond the ocean are uh, not that uh, cultured. Spiritually, they are not cultured. They are not purified. So how can Swami living with them several years, again coming back? So this Swami is, uh, is uh, although he spoke something good about Hinduism, but they are not recognizing Swami's greatness and accepting the way of life Swamiji was living, giving entrance to the Western people, to the monastery, 
and women also are there and there is no caste system brahmin kshatriya vaishya shudra brahmins are the, this is just nobody we are brahmins you, you will, in those days uh, this shudras lower caste people will not sit together they will not be able to enter the room so uh, superstitions and untouchability was to that extent that swami ji wanted to break all these things and uh, bring out the equality in the this uh, in the society but not uh, bringing the brahmins and whatever good we have got down to the chandalas level rather uplifting the the uh, me a lower caste to the higher level everyone will be brahmin and brahmin also should be free from their superstition and dogmatism and this narrowness that only brahmin will enjoy the vedic chanting brahmin will only do the puja brahmin will always they will enjoy the cream of the society anything and everything all others will gather everything and we will enjoy so shami ji was completely against all those things and his outlook coming visiting the western countries it became more open his heart was full of that now he saw that how western people by giving uh, although they don't worship ladies here in the western countries uh, this is a kind of chivalry showing uh, just to attract the uh, e of the uh, women they show something to them but they give respect to the women so sami ji understood and said western people have done so much advancement in material world by paying respect to the women and that also they don't worship with devotion they do with worship means respect with lust but if in a pure way if you worship that shakti as the mother of all in a pure way what benefit you people will get can you imagine so sami ji's letters are there sami ji was very clear about this that women should be given back their lost honor status highest status in the society in the family so sami ji many things were there that if we do durga puja properly with everything scriptural injunctions following that so that brahmins cannot raise their finger towards us the ra uh, your puja is not there. everything ragunandans uh, we uh, book was there uh, how to do this durga puja elaborately sami ji said uh, his to his chala uh, was a pandit sharat chandra chakravarti hey, uh, he used to call bangal because he belonged to the east bengal so hey, bangal can you bring this ragunandans smriti for me why sami ji what will do said, no no i am thinking of doing durga puja i will see uh, so that nobody can raise finger so he brought the uh, he also one of the very famous um, uh, uh, ramkrishna nanda ji the shashi maharaj shashi maharaj's father was the pujari je um, ishwar chandra chakraborty so sami ji had several things in mind divine, divine vision the recognition of the calcutta uh, plus indian uh, e uh, so called uh, brahmins and caretakers of the society if they always they always make uh, a an impediment a hurdles then sami ji cannot do too much for the society because these people also make join their hands for the advancement of the society this um e of status of the women in the family and the society and also the condition of the poor the two great sins you have done that is why you are suffering he told his chala sharat chandra chakravarti you what are those two things this you have always uh, cornered and trampled the women uh, yeah, okay, the women do not have any power they cannot do anything and you have made them only this uh, e machine um, this uh, children producing machine you have made them this is their status in the family in the society you have not given any honor and you do not you did not recognize the power they have and ek pakha in one with one wing a bird cannot fly 
you need both the uh, wings to be developed properly. So in the society, if the 50% of the population, they do not get education, they do not uh, exert their power and potential for the good of the society, advancement of the society, how can the society uh, advance? So Shamiji was very critical of all these things, could not bear. And he saw that his own Guru Sri Ramakrishna did puja to his own wife, Sharda Devi, as the embodiment of the, uh, the Divine Mother. And he found how Sri Ramakrishna used to take being a sannyasi, he used to take care of his own mother and brought his own mother to Dakshineshwar so that mother, during her last days, um, uh, did not suffer too much of this remaining away from the son, Sri Ramakrishna, whom she loved so much. And to make the mother happy, her last days, Sri Ramakrishna uh, brought her to Dakshineshwar, although she was completely uh, unattached, detached from the family life, nothing he, he knew. His own wife sleeping in the same room, on the same cot, for 10 months did not know that whole night uh, Sharda Devi was not uh, able to uh, sleep. One day his bhanje, this nephew, Ridwai, scolded Mama, uh, you do not know this mommy, this aunt, uh, she cannot uh, sleep. What happened to her? I didn't disturb her. The whole night you are in samadhi. So she was always sitting, uh, afraid that if I sleep and if I touch master, master is in samadhi. So you do not know all these things. Today also your samadhi was not um, uh, coming down to that normal level. You are not coming back from your ecstatic mood. And Holy Mother thought you have passed away and she started crying and he, 10 months she is not sleeping don't you know then master said oh is it so i said all right take your mommy your auntie to uh, the uh, uh, to his own mother this uh, chandramani devi oh i didn't know so although he was so unattached detached about this life but his own mother he brought to show the whole world how one should take care of the mother and the women in the society that worshipping his own wife as that embodiment of the Divine Mother. So Swamiji had wonderful training. His mind, he had the e of grace of Holy Mother on him. Uh, he went to America and he said, I took the blessings of Holy Mother. Holy Mother said, yes, my son, you go. I was waiting, although Master was beckoning, come, come to the west or from the, on, walking on the ocean water, but I did not go. But when Holy Mother said, yes, no, no, it is Master, so you go. And I went and everywhere you see, whatever I did in the name of Master, it was successful and the whole world, Western world, European world, American people and all the, uh, he, uh, he, uh, people, um, intelligentsia of everywhere, they accepted whatever broad and universal Catholic ideas and principles, teachings I have got from Sri Ramakrishna and whatever they are in our Vedas, Upanishad, I spoke and everyone accepted. It was due to Holy Mother's blessings on me. So, Swami Vivekananda, being a sadhu, had so many things in mind to make this opening, beginning of Shakti worship, being sadhus who do not do themselves any puja. We are barred to do any puja. We will not do anything, any puja. For, it is for householders. Do home yoga and other things. Go to swarga and have the fruit. If you do home yoga, all these things, you will have the fruit of it. And if you have the fruit, then a good fruit also you have to um, enjoy and bad fruit also you have to suffer. So sadhus are beyond all these things. So sadhus are barred to do all this. Uh, Vedic worship and other things. So to have made the Brahmins and Orthodox people, Hindus, that we are not doing anything, we are also Hindu sannyasis. Whatever we are doing, it is approved by the scripture. And secondly, if openly, publicly, this Kumari Puja also one of the part of the uh, puja, this our Belur Mat Durga Puja, that this living small baby of five, six, seven years, five, seven years old girl is being worshipped. So uh, automatically in the family, the status of the women will be raised. They will 
in the family also, most of the trouble comes from the family members, male members of the family. So they will also understand that women are all only not uh, um, uh, uh, to be maltreated in the family. They should be given. They are all the power of the Divine Mother. Uh, so Divine Mother in the Chondi, it is there. Mm. That Sriya uh, Samastha uh, Sakala Jagatsu, whatever you see in the whole world, the, all the women, I am there present. So Divine Mother is manifested through all the women. So all these things will remain only in the scripture. Should not the ordinary people in the society know it and apply all this this practical Vedanta. Vedanta is a Brahma Sattva Jagat Mitha. Only I become a selfish and everyone in the society will supply all the good, good things and what I need. And I will only, my moksha, I am in meditation and I don't bother for the world. But you people will supply everything for me, for my sustenance, maintenance of my body. Swamiji said it is a sheer selfishness, not doing anything, not paying heed to the society. Educated people who having been educated at the cost of the uh, masses pay least heat uh, for their education. I call them traitors. What the language Samiji used, educated people? I call them traitors who, having been educated, pay least heat to educate the common people or ordinary people uh, uh, through whose um, e, uh, support you have got your education now you do nothing for them. So, Swamiji had multiple things in his mind, the recognition of the Pandits, uh, Orthodox Brahmins, uh, higher caste people, that we are also Hindus, not doing anything, because we have gone to the West and crossed the ocean, we have lost our caste, and we are outcast now, we are no, no more Hindus, and the way sadhus are living the life, uh, women are also visiting, white people are coming, foreigners are coming, other, uh, in, in Ramakrishna mission, Hindu, Muslim, Buddha, Christian, Jain, Parsi, what not, if any other uh, ethnic group is also there, all are welcome, black, white, uh, African, American, European, wh what is not there? There may be fight between uh, America and uh, Russia and this, uh, the different countries. We have our <laughs> sadhus from <laughs> almost all religions and faiths and countries. So it is a wonderful place to uh, show an ideal before the society. So Swamiji had wonderful ideas that if these orthodox people are not um, uh, in, uh, enlightened, then it will be difficult to bring about a change in the society for the good of the common people. Then second is status of the women. That Shakti Puja, oh, Shakti Divine Mother should be worshipped. Oh, all the women are the part of the manifestation of that Divine Mother. It has its impact in the society. So this is another. <clears throat> and uh, Swamiji had that uh, vision Another thing was, Swamiji had so many letters that, oh God, you are so lazy and you are so weak, oh, nothing. Let the youngsters, people, Hindu people, see a little bit of blood. I will give Bali the sacrifice and it will be given so, uh, in a huge <clears throat> way, big way, that Ganga water of Belurmat will be red. Bully will be like that because let the people they have become so timid under the British rule before that they were under the Muslim rule 800 years and 200 years they have lost their valor their power they have forgot that they are actually always empowered Shakti worshipper they have been that Shakti is there in everybody in everyone so they have forgot their um, uh, uh, real identity so Swamiji said let the Indian people see a little bit of all this Vaishnavism, oh, everything God will do. I take Haribol, Haribol, and God will do my everything. That will not do. In the Gita, Bhagavan is, Swamiji is telling, you will not understand the uh, message of Gita. If you, uh, if your body, bicep, triceps are not, muscles are not a little bit stronger, you will not understand the real message of 
the, the Bhagavan Sri Krishna because it is the message of strength. Arjun, stand up. Club Magmashma Gama Partha Nai Tattva Yupapaddhati Shudrang Rida Darvallang Taktattishta Parantap. Stand up and show your valor. You are a powerful man. You are a hero. How can you think, oh, I am, I am shivering, I am falling down? Huh? Foolish. Huh? We are behaving. You are talking like a pundit and behaving like an idiot. You are quoting all the scriptures to me. Don't you know? Anything is born, will die. And who is everything is Brahman? Who is going, killing whom? Body is born, the body will go. Who can kill you and who can, whom you can kill? Nobody. Atman is, Atman cannot be killed. All these wonderful messages of strength and valor, ovi, fearlessness, will not be understood by weak people. So Shamiji wanted that a little bit of shakt, charcha, should be there. And there they will, they will uh, be awakened, rise from their slumber of this thousand years of foreign rule and forgetting their own divine nature, their own power, and becoming so narrow-minded, not understanding. So, so many things are there. In, in one go, Swamiji had so many uh, points to uh, get uh, 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 so many things are there so that Thank you. So many, so many points were there in Swamiji's mind. In one, in one uh, go, he, Swamiji wanted to have success in many fronts. So women status in the family, in the society, recognition of the orthodox Brahmins, Pandits, that we are not doing anything against the Hindu scripture. We are not converted into Christianity or other religion and casteism, all these things. So. And plus, divine vision was also there. The, yes, divine mother wants that she be worshipped here in Belmont. So, and to uh, invigorate uh, the empower the youngsters, young Indians. The, yes, stand up. You understand your strength. How long you will remain under the yoke of foreign rule? So, Swamiji had so many ideas to start the Durga Puja. Now I told that they got the permission from Holy Mother. Acha Holy Mother said, oh, all right, very good. You will do not and wanted to do Durga Puja. Yes, Premananda Maharaj was sent to Holy Mother. Holy Mother was living at that time at Bhag Bajar in Calcutta. Belurmot is on the other side of the Ganges, and nearly five kilometers away. Just cross the Ganges and go and see uh, Holy Mother. So uh, Premananda Ji went and Holy Mother uh, wholeheartedly said, oh, that will be very good. Noreen has uh, chalked out a good pro uh, program. It is good. All my blessings start. And Holy Mother herself came. When Swamiji was in America, was writing letters to his brother disciples, this Baburam's mother at this old days has <clears throat> uh, become crazy. This Baburam's mother's mind, uh, this uh, Janto Durga, living Durga, Ma Sharada Devi is there. Uh, without doing puja to Sharada Devi, she is doing puja in Murti and in Babura Maharaj's uh, mother's side and father's side, both sides were uh, um, uh, Javindars and they had their Durga puja, both this family, that family. So in the village of uh, Antpur, Hooghly district, master's district, birth district also Hooghly. So, so uh, Baburam uh, Maharaj's mother was doing uh, Durga Puja. That news has gone to Swamiji. Swamiji was telling, oh, Baburam's mother's Buru boy she at this old days, uh, Bhimrati Dhurasi means uh, uh, doing something not uh, right. What happened? Holy Mother is there. What is the other puja necessary? So I will do Janto Durga Puja. Janto means living Durga's puja. I will hold. I will. Uh, conduct, then my name is. Otherwise, I am not worth my name. Shami Vivekananda from America writing these letters and inspiring uh, brother disciples to pay more respect, understand the e of power of Holy Mother, who is none less than that Durga uh, incarnated in this age. As in the Chundi, this Divine Mother is telling Ithang, 
यदा यदा बाधा दानवत्त भविष्यति तदा तदा अवतीर्य हम करिष्य और संशय द मीनिंग इज वेन एवर देर विल बी इत्थंग यदा जदा बाधा मीन्स वेन एवर देर विल बी दिस इविल फोर्सेस रेजिंग देयर हेड्स दस वे ने बट ट्रैवल एराइजेस ड्यू टू द एडवेंट ऑफ द दानवस उसरोस इविल फोर्सेस आई शैल इनकार्नेट माय सेल्फ एम्बॉडी माय सेल्फ टू डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल दिस फोर्स इत्थं यदा यदा वादा दानवत्त भविष्यति तदा तदा अवतीर जहाँ करिश्यामी ओरी शंक्षा ऑल दिस ओरी इस फोर्स आई वि� So so many oris, evils, devils. I have demons. I have finished, destroyed. I will again come. Don't worry. This is blessings to the devas, not to the human beings. All the devas in the eleventh chapter of the conclusion, mother was telling. Yes, I will do. I will come again. When all the gods were worshiping divine mother Durga, so that Durga has incarnated again, and it has to be shown. So Swami ji. <coughs> Thought, thought. Swamiji had conviction that Sri Ramakrishna's divine consort, Shri Madhva Sharda Devi, was none other than the incarnation of Durga. And Sri Ramakrishna herself also said, "Do you know who she is? Uh, she, she is not an ordinary lady. She is the incarnation of Saraswati, who is the aspect of the divine mother. She is born to bestow knowledge on others. Uh, she is my Shakti. She is my power." She is the communicator of the knowledge. She is full of the rarest wisdom. As she is the common, she is the commoner. She is my shakti. She is my power. Sri Ramakrishna herself also said so. If Sri Ramakrishna is Bhagwan, then Holy Mother is Bhagwati, and Swami Vivekananda had this understanding before going to the West, and uh, it was uh, it was his inborn by mother's grace he got it for other sami ji te do you know who is holy mother holy mother is our guru putni or guru dev's wife no she is not she is herself the durga bhagavati don't think he is the wife of sri ram krishna sri ram krishna is your guru and so you should show a little respect is not that holy mother herself is that divine mother she is mother she is the protectress this presiding deity of our shangho so shami ji sent for the con- consent of holy mother holy mother gave the consent and when consent came now where is the murti those who know how to make durga puja now this plastic durga puja this uh, 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 so many other things this uh, uh, durga murti but in those days murti puja means durga murti it will be Uh, made of clay potter's wheel in kolkata there is a place kumar tuli kumar means potters those who uh, make uh, the uh, images murtis different statues uh, statues out of uh, soil earth so these days are not there because several months they take they make the uh, mud then they put the first uh, condition of the uh, there will be structure on that they will put this mud it will be dried then gradually gradually finally when it is dried up and nice it will be colored nicely so shami ji and raja maharaja maharaja shami ji said go and mother's permission is there go bring murti was you got so quickly puja is only that day Let us let me see that we get the murti. Oh yes. So Raja Maharaj sent Premana, the Brahmacharya Krishna Lal, uh, go to Kumatuli, find out that one murti you purchase and bring. We will do Durga Mother's worship. Everyone so happy when Raja Maharaj, Swami Ji, all had visions and Holy Mother, Divine Mother, uh, Holy Mother to them was the Divine Mother. Incarnation. So Holy Mother blessed. So Durga Puja, they, everyone was happy. Uh, Brahmacharya Krishna went no higher, no murti was there because in those days murti will be ordered by some people. Otherwise, who will purchase the big Durga Puja? Is a big affair, as I told. Jamindars used to do it, and Jamindar Kongshunar and of Rajshay he started in 16th century this big pendal Durga Puja. Before that, small small puja at home you do. That's the difference. So, Calcutta people Kumar Tuli, the Potters Lane area. they uh, there was no murti 
Finally, he found one potter with one murti. He said, no, somebody ordered it, but his date is um, uh, over. So I, I don't think he will come, so I'll sell it. So somebody ordered a murti. You see how the divine coincidences. Somebody ordered. Divine Mother got her murti ordered by somebody. Here, Narayana Rakhal is having the vision, do my puja. Somebody else has been ordered, put on order for one murti. Murti was ready, beautiful murti. So he was very happy and brought the murti. So this Durga Puja started and it was 18th of October 1901, as I told Brahmachari Krishnulal, who went and uh, chose the murti. Uh, she became the pujari and Shami Ramakrishna is his father. He was a pandit, a scholar in Sanskrit and puja. Uh, in Ramakrishna mission, first puja was introduced by Shoshi Maharaj. Shoshi Maharaj learned puja from his father, this Ishwar Chandra Chakraborty. So this Ishwar Chandra Chakraborty did the puja. And Swamiji, this Agamani song, Swamiji was very fond of Agamani songs, our master also. Before Durga Puja starts, Mother Durga is coming. We also sing, in all our centers, we sing all these Navaratri days. Jao, Jao, Giri, Anite, Guri. Hey, my husband, he Raz, Hima Raz, this, you go and bring the daughter. I, I uh, dreamt last night that uh, she was uh, crying. Narod told me, what happened wrong? Shiva cannot be depended on. Uh, she, he does not take care of himself, and what uh, he, uh, he will take care of my daughter? No, this time if daughter comes, I will not send him back, I tell you. And it is not good in India that mother-in-law will be fighting and with shouting in front of the son-in-law. But this time Shiva comes to take her back, I will say, Uma Amar Gharani, Uma is not in my home, I will not give, let, let her go back. So all this motherly love and affections are expressed through all these Bengali songs. Uh, Puja Ganaputi Pelam Hoimavati, this Ganesha, uh, and if you do the Durga Puja, you see, for materialistic point of view also, everyone, we are all materialistic minded, mostly. How many people? Manushyanam sahasreshu kashchit jatati siddha jatatam api siddhanam kashchit mangveti tattata. In the Gita, Bhagavan is telling Arjun, how many people are running after God? Who wants God? Sri Ramakrishna also in the Gospel is telling Narayan. God can be seen, but who wants to see? How many people wants to see God? <laughs> what a great question and remark, observation. What a great observation that God is there and the goal of human life is to see God. But how many people, how many want to see God? We are busy with everything other than God. There is a song by Rabindra, Rabindranath. Ami shakolo kajer pai je shamoy tumare dakite paine. This one song is a devotional song. I get the time to do all my duties and activities, all works. I have time, enough time, and I am busy with that. Only thing, I cannot get time to worship you, to call on you, to uh, think of you, to meditate on you. That is the song. So the world is like that. So, Agamani songs, Swamiji used to sing, Master also, before Durga Puja. So Swamiji himself <clears throat> sang Agamani song several days and Shosti day is Bodhan will come to that. Now Holy Mother, as I told, was invited and Holy Mother gave consent and Holy Mother came one day earlier before the Shosti and stayed in the Nilambar Bhagavu's garden house. Before Belur Mot was located in the new place, present Belur Mot, just uh, 500 meter uh, south, by the same place, by the, on the bank of the Ganges, where Holy Mother stayed. Holy Mother did Panchatapa. Sun is there and four fires all around. And whole day Holy Mother, Udayastu, from sun uh, rise to sunset. 
whole day Holy Mother was doing japa, meditation, taking God's name, and all the, this whole day sun from above, and four big, big fireballs are there. This all are burning, Holy Mother's so beautiful complexion was there, Holy Mother's. It changed into a different one. So that is the place, Nilamba Babu's garden house. Holy Mother came there, stayed, and puja time, Holy Mother was present. And uh, Swamiji now asked, Mother, I will do the e, homo. I have seen, read the um, Raghunandan Smriti. We will follow to the letter. And I will make the water so we, um, it will be um, uh, red, the Ganga water uh, in Belurmot. Near Belurmot, Ganga water will be red. So many seconds. And then Holy Mother said, No, Baba. Abhayam Sarva Bhute Bhuyar Shunnashi. You have taken the oath, the vow, that we will not do harm to anybody. Don't do this. Don't de do the good sacrifice. Instead, you give some cucumber, pumpkin, sugar cane, all these things. So Holy Mother said, yes, Baba, you do puja, everything, but don't do If you are sadhus, sannyasis, so it is not good. So Swamiji, when uh, Mother said, there is no question, mm. Supreme Court, to Swami Bhima, the Holy Mother was Supreme Court, anything. So, and this Swamiji sang wonderful songs on Shosti days, Agamani songs. Then went to Holy Mother, Mother, these boys are so uh, busy with different work, but you know uh, me, if a little bit of deviation from the uh, real thing, uh, what I wanted to do, I will be scolding. Who, who knows if I slap them, one slap also I can give then they will be very unhappy, they will not feel good, and what will be in my condition also, as well, I will also as well feel very bad, that, oh, Durga Puja, these boys are doing so many things, everything they are doing so joyfully to their satisfaction and to their highest ability, but if it is to my standard, if it is not, then I will get annoyed, you know? So, Mother, you bless me with fever. I said, why my child? Durga Puja, you have started. So many people will come, you, it is your brainchild. You started and you will not. No, mother, it's Puja days, three days I will remain uh, e, um, e, um, down with the fever, lying. Puja will be over, I will be also, okay. So you bless me. So I am taking, voluntarily I am taking this to make people happy. Let them do the Puja nicely. Swamiji is Shiva, he is always in meditation. What special, what special puja he needs? Puja is for us. So he did the puja for the, uh, for the all, all, each and everyone. And Swamiji is Shiva. So, Swamiji started. Holy Mother, oh, cha cha baba, all right, as you wish. So, started shivering. Oh, God, it happened. So, Swamiji was down with fever. After the uh, Shosti Puja and all these things, Shosti Shaptami Ashtami, again Ashtami, uh, he, uh, he, he got back his he, Shandi Puja time, he did, uh, was present, and he did worship to Komari Puja. Uh, in those days, several Kumari Swamiji, some say nine, some say more than that. Swamiji did Komari Puja in many places. When he was in Kashmir, uh, he did Komari Puja. Uh, there, uh, on Muslim uh, boatman, he was on the uh, on Dal Lake on boat. Uh, what is called? It's even special name is there. Those boats on Dal Lake. Shikara. Shikara. Uh, Kashmiri devotees. All right. Thank you. So the Shikara, or the Muslim boatman, his small baby girl was there. So on the Shamiji did puja to that baby girl also. So. In many other places also. So whenever Shamiji got a chance, Shamiji did this uh, e puja. Shamiji did this puja in, in, in uh, northeast. I was there. What is that place? Uh, Gohati near Gohati. That um, e Kamakha. Kamakha also. So Shamiji did 
the Durga Puja, and they, there is a Kumari Puja time, there was a wonderful uh, incident. So, so Swamiji was putting, doing the Puja, and this in the Puja, Paddo, or go, all these things, you have to wash the feet of the deity, all these things Swamiji was doing, as per the scripture, everything. And then you have to put kumkum, uh, this uh, teeth of um, this chandana, sandal paste, so all these things as we do in the, so as we do everything in, in the murti, uh, uh, with the murti puja, so also was being done everything. So Swamiji just this making sandal paste uh, uh, tip, then suddenly Swamiji was so full of emotion of seeing the Divine Mother, and that was a very small baby of five years, and uh, or less than that, like that. So Swamiji was telling, oh, have I, have I uh, pressed too much the Devi's third eye? Swamiji's expression, ah, oh, have I pressed too much? Is it hard? Eye, eye is there. Uh, this Trinatra third eye is there. Trinayani Gauri. So Swamiji was so uh, completely with the divine fervor of this ecstatic devotion that all the Divine Mother is present and doing the puja. So, Belumot first Durga Puja, in that way it took place. And there are certain things in the puja. First, why it is done, this is uh, our Ramchandraji when we went to uh, do, um, uh, the, the bring back Sitama. And then he had a fight with uh, Ravana. And Naradji came and said, Ramchandra, you cannot um, e, uh, win over. Uh, Ravana had so many boons from different gods and goddesses, so you cannot win over. If you worship the Divine Mother, propitiate her, then only, otherwise Ravana is already empowered. No one can do any harm to kill Ravan without the blessings of the Divine Mother, Durga. So, at that time, Ramchandraji did the Durga Puja. Generally, this Durga Puja is done in the Vasanta time, in the month of April. But that time, and he cannot wait, so he, in the, generally it is believed that when the sun goes the southward, uh, its uh, a, um, movement, then, Mm, uh, it is called uh, Dakshinayan. At that time, all the, the gods and goddesses sleep. So if you want to do special puja, you have to do this awakening of them. They are sleeping. So this, there are, uh, there are called Parambha Bodhan. Bodhan is, this rite is performed at the Sandha or dusk. The word Bodhan literally means awakening. As already mentioned, uh, that Hindu mythology holds that all gods and goddesses go to sleep for six months during the southward journey of the sun. Autumn, Sharat, during which Durga Puja is done, falls in the middle of this period. Hence, it is necessary to first of all awaken the deity Durga. We have already mentioned that the awakening of Durga was first done by Sri Ramachandra, who wanted to propitiate the goddess before fighting Ravana. So, with the blessings of Durga, Ramchandraji became victorious over Ravana and destroyed all the uh, Asuras, Rakshasas and Dhanavas, demons. So here also, in the Durga Puja, you have to first Kalparambhu. Kalparambhu is uh, in whose name this Puja will be done. Sadhu Santos cannot do any Puja. So Holy Mother is our Divine Mother. So Holy Mother's name everything will be done in the name of Holy Mother. Holy Mother's Sankalpa, the, the sacramental intention. So that the firm determination to conduct the puja properly during these three days. Shaptami, Ashtami, now in Bengal, these three days. And Shasti is this Bodhan, Kalparambha. Then Bodhan is followed by Adivash and Amantrana. Adivasha means invocation, invocation uh, of the Devi in the billow, um, the branch of the billow tree. So um, uh, it was done. And then Adivasha is followed by Amantrana. Then Amantrana, Amantrana means invitation. Oh Mother Durga, come and accept our puja. Uh, we, we do our Nitya Puja time, Yaha Gachu, Yaha Gachu, Yotishtu, Yotishtu, Yashandi, Dhyoshandi, different mudras are there. 
postures are there, this finger and the hand. So, mother, oh mother, come and uh, accept our puja, stay here and be propitious, be gracious, accept our puja despite our shortcomings. So, all this invitation. Then, Shaptami Puja, Shaptami Puja is uh, then Navoputrika, another thing is there, nine uh, leaves of uh, nine plants. Those are Divine Mother's presence in all these nine plants, which include a branch of bell tree also, are bundled, bundled together, given a ceremonial bath, covered with an orange-colored cloth and installed on a wooden seat on the right side of the image of Durga. People do not know, they say Ganesha Kolabo, Ganesha <laughs> it is not that. Those who are illiterate about the puja, they say Kolabo, Kolabo, Bo means a wife, Kola means this, it is like one Kola, Kola means plantain, banana plant is there. So they think it is, it is actually Divine Mother, there are nine branches, nine plants and leaves and branches are there and it is I thought that Divine Mother is because this is also another thing is in India, you see, the whole society depend on the fruits, vegetables, plants. If these are not there, how the human being can survive? So uh, the Hindus worship uh, not only the different gods and goddesses uh, thinking that they are sitting in the sky, they invoke gods and goddesses in plants also. So, this is Navaputrika, nine plants, and this, that puja is also there. And this is followed by Mahasnano, great bath. And then Pranapratishta, this consecration of the, the consecration means this divinization. Yeah, some say uh, pronounce it divinization, some say divinization. So, whatever way, divinization of the image known as the Pranapratishta. And then 16 item, and the Shoroshopachar Puja, all these things, Nana, the Shoroshopachar Puja, all these things, food offering are done. Ashtami Puja also uh, is done with all pomp and fervor. Mahasnan, Shoroshopachar Puja, and this 64 yoginis <laughs> are worshipped. Uh, Om Dakshira Gavinash Innoi Maha Ghorai, Yogini Koti Paribritai, Bhadra Kalloi, Ring Om Durgai, Namodis. Mother Durga's mantra is that Dakshija Gubinashini, Mother Durga went uh, to her uh, father's house, Dakshuras, Daksha Prajapati, who is one of the, like Brahma is Prajapati, the Daksha is another one, their brothers. So he invited everyone, but not Shiva and uh, we, um, Uma and this Parvati. So Narada told that everyone invited not. The Shiva said, I will not go. I am not invited. But Parvati said, my father has, you know, my father's house, I will go. But then father was uh, grieving, calling names of Shiva. Are your husband is a worthless one, this, that. So she was Shati. Shati means the chest true to her uh, husband. So Pati Ninda, this anybody, um, criticizing and uh, speaking ill of husband, uh, the Hindu wives will not bear it. So, uh, Divine Mother says, I cannot uh, do any harm to my father, so I am her daughter, but I give up my body. I will not hear all these malign words, maligning. So, Shiva came and Dakshara Gubina this destroyed all this sacrifice, what Daksha was going to do. So, Aung Dakshara Gubina Shinnoi Maha Ghorai Yogini Koti Purutis is Yogini, all these Yogini Koti, Koti means crow, 10 millions Yogini, this, all this um, uh, uh, is, is demigods and others, attendants of Mother Durga. So, all these are worshipped in that way. And uh, then Kumari Puja, as I told, uh, is that they done, Swamiji himself did. Then Shondi Puja, Shondi Puja is the very important, very auspicious. 24 minutes of Ashtami, last part, and the first part, beginning uh, 24 minutes of the Navumi. This 24, 24, total 48 minutes are um, called, this form, 48 minutes form the Shandhi, this divine juncture, this is sacred juncture 
of ostomy and novomi. And at that time, if you do anything, do japa meditation, thousandfold you will get the benefit. You do meditation, thousandfold will be the very any good things you donate, you give. This dana is very good in our tradition. Anything, any good thing you do, thousandfold. If you do bad thing, that also will come thousandfold. So be very careful during Shanti Puja time. <laughs> do good things and good thoughts. It will purify mind, it will elevate us to a higher level. So that is done, Shanti Puja. And uh, after that, Navami Puja. This Navami Puja day is sacrifice. And as I told, our in Belumot tradition is uh, this uh, home was done. Uh, it, it sacrifice was uh, given during the home only some cucumber and uh, other things. Uh, um, uh, during uh, this homo. And next comes the Dashami. And uh, we conclude here. This Dashami is called, Vijaya Dashami is a simple thing. This um, brief puja uh, that in this ritual, the Devi who had been invoked in the Navaputrika and consecrated image in, is entreated to return to her celestial abode. The where Divine Mother will go. We, during the puja time, we invoke the Divine Mother from our heart, from inside. We, then we put the pushpo, the flower there, and puja is done. Mother is here. Again, during this Vishad Janu time, Dasami, puja, Mother, all these three days you have done your puja. Now you come back to our again to our lotus heart. Where mother will go? It is for the common people to understand. Mother is coming from Koilash. Mother is in Koilash. Mother is in my heart also. Mother is ever present in my heart. Day and night, 24 hours. When I am sleeping, then also mother is there. Mother is not only there on Saptami, Ashtami, Navami days, three days, four days, Navura, three days, nine days. It is not there. Mother is ever present here in our heart of hearts. So mother, you again, at that time, exhalation, breathing out. Mother, come out from my heart and take puja. In this form, you be present here. Now, mother, inside, again you come back to my heart and remain there till again you are brought out and done puja on the murti, in the murti, in statue. So, this way is done. And this dasham is called vijaya dasham. Why vijaya? Vijaya means victory. Victory of what? Victory of good over evil. Victory of dharma over adharma. Victory of righteousness over, over unrighteousness. And this dasami puja marks the end of Durga puja. And Ramchandraji also, this Vijaya times, Vijaya is a victory over Ravana. Arjuna's victory was over um, Kauravas when he defeated thousands, millions of his Kaurava fighters uh, who were fighting against him. So these days, Vijaya Dashami, this victory of the good forces over the evil forces. A Asuras, Dhanu was Devas, become victorious over the Dhanavas, Asuras, Rakshasas, so many evil things. In one word, they represent the evil tendencies, evil forces. In our body, mind also, there is good tendency, evil tendency. We are to become victorious through our good tendencies over the evil tendencies, which drag us down and finally get us destroyed. And this Amun Manav Jamin Roila Potit Avat Korle Foltoshana. There is a song of Ram Prashad. Such a nice, uh, uh, this human birth we have got. If we do not utilize this for the uh, realization of God, uh, 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 this truth in this life, then it remains uh, uncultivated. Uh, um, uh, it is all loss, great loss. So Master also says, there is a quotation, this who having been this human birth does not take care of realizing God. It is Mahati Vinashti, it's a great loss. So let us all pray to the Divine Mother for her blessings uh, so that through her blessings 
we all become aware, conscious of our divine qualities, potential, and we do our best to realize the presence of the Divine Mother in our heart of hearts, and we do not become weak and behave like a coward in undertaking anything divine and good uh, for the uh, society, for human being, for anybody in this life, and get joy and happiness in that, and make this human birth a successful one. Ya Sri Swayang Sukritanang Bhavaneshu Alakshmi Papatmanang Kritasriyang Ridae Subuddhi Shraddha Satang Kulajano Prabhavasya Lajja Tang Twang Nata Sma Puripalayo Devi Vishwam O Devi, we bow before you who are yourself good fortune in the dwellings of the virtuous and ill fortune in those of the vicious intelligence in the hearts of the learned, faith in the hearts of the good, and modesty in the hearts of the high-born. May you protect the universe. Accept our salutation. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Hari Om Tat Sat.